Hey what's up guys, it is Sakura Sam here and welcome back to the channel and in today's video guys we're going to talk about some essential assets for me when I'm level designing. And guys if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below to show some support on the video. Also hit subscribe if you want to stay up to tune for new videos coming soon and also let us know in the comments which one of these assets is your favorite or if you have your own ones and with that being said let's get right into it. Alrighty guys, so as I said, we're going to talk about the essential assets for me when I'm actually level designing and primarily or mainly I'm going to focus on the 3D models in this video and if you want to see more of these kind of lists of assets you can use for level designing, let me know in the comments. It's very important for me to have your input on this as well. And in the first part of this video guys, we have an asset pack called Rock and Boulders 3, which is a asset pack developed by Manufacturer K4. It's in the 3D models category in the asset store and it's an asset pack with with many high quality rock and boulder prefabs in it. It comes with a price tag of about $85. It's converted from euros, so make sure to convert it by yourself as well in order to make sure that you're up to date with the value. But basically this asset pack has 26 rocks and stones, 22 rock formations and include PBR textures alongside other features. The shaders are extremely well developed and they really do allow you to edit every single detail literally on every single rock and prefab you're placing in your scenes. Personally, my favorite feature is the fact that you can change how much moss and grass you want on each one of these rocks or boulders you're placing in your scenes. It's very convenient and it makes it really easy to edit while you're on the go. So you don't really have to pause your level designing. You can just simply open it up on the in the inspector menu and change it from there. So if you want to change the intensity, the texture size for the grass moss or any other feature that is supported in this asset pack, you can do it right away. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I was a little bit skeptical when purchasing this asset because the price is a little high, especially for an indie dev. But luckily enough, the asset is very price worthy, meaning that I, I can use it for pretty much any type of game that I'm creating or any design I'm creating for my YouTube channel. So I don't really feel like picking up a new rock pack in the asset store because I feel like this is a very complete and finished asset. And next up, guys, we have an asset pack called Flooded Grounds. It's located in the 3D models environments category and it's created by Sandro. It's an environment pack with haunting models and prefabs to use for your games. It comes at a price tag of 65 bucks and this one is also converted so make sure that you convert it by yourself from the asset store page which is going to be linked in the description down below for all these assets. However, Flooded Grounds is basically a gloomy, foggy environment depicting flooded rural area in a post-apocalyptic style. And this is a pretty content-filled asset pack which has got pretty much everything from grass, trees, bushes, other types of vegetation, to props and buildings. Speaking of which, all the buildings are actually coming with interior design, but they only lack on furnitures. And personally, I'm in love with the buildings that come in this asset. Like, they've been my favorite so far in the asset, and I would have literally paid the price just for the buildings themselves. And the reason is simply because they are so high quality, and I love the interior design that they include. The lack of furnitures have not been a problem for me at all. I can literally just Google some, like, 3D models for furnitures. It's not a problem for me. But my main reason reason is simply because the asset is not heavily focusing on to the post-apocalyptic style even though that's the main direction this asset pack is taking. So if you're creating a different style of game you can still use the buildings and the props etc that come in this asset pack without any problems at all. I personally picked this asset up pretty early on as well so it's been essential for me whenever I want to add some creepiness to my environments or if I just want to use some high quality buildings to my scenes. I've had great use of this asset pack in every level that I design both for my projects and my videos and it's been great so far. And last but not least guys, we have an asset called Aquas Water. I hope I didn't butcher that name. And this is an asset created by Dogmatic and it's in the scripting effects category. It's a powerful water and river system that is highly customizable. And this asset pack comes with a price tag of 45 bucks and it has 12 flat water shaders for all types of platforms, environments and games. Aquas is extremely feature rich and allows you to change literally everything you want about the water you add to your scene. But at the same time, 
time, it's very easy for you to just drag it and drop it into your scene and make it suit your level. You also get full support with mobile platforms as well as computers and consoles, so it doesn't really matter what kind of platform you're mainly pointing your game towards, and it also has underwater effects working good with your levels. Personally, I'm quite new to Aquas, I used a few other assets, I'm not gonna name them for security reasons, and I've used a few other assets for water, and I didn't really, like, I liked them, but it wasn't really as good as Aquas was because it's very simple for you to set up Aquas with your scene. You just literally drag it and drop it into your scene and it's pretty much done. And you have no compatibility issues, I feel like. With other assets that I use as water, I had a few compatibility issues and it, I didn't really understand why. I suppose it's something connected to the shaders, etc. But Aquas has never created any kind of problem for me so far. Thus, it makes Aquas my favorite water asset in the asset store right now. Besides, I use Aquas often for higher quality designs, but I also have seen it work good with cartoon style scenes too. So I'm definitely gonna give it a shot in my level designs in the future as well. And with that being said, guys, we are going to end this video here for today. So let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to let us know in the comments which one of these assets is your favorite one i really do want to know because i want to see what kind of assets you guys like and also if you have your own essential ones for your level designing or game game development or whatever it might be let us know in the comments hit us up with some links we are always down to checking some new assets i might even make a review out of it and with that being said guys hit the thumbs up button down below to show some support on the video if you enjoyed it hit the subscribe button to make sure you stay up to tune for new videos coming soon and don't forget to turn on that bell notification I guess it was called <laughs> I don't know YouTube has some weird features but turn it on so that you get notified as soon as I upload a new video and with that being said I will catch you in the comments see you guys bye bye <laughs>